So which arm swings a golf club? Is it your lead arm or is it your trail arm? Well, there's a lot of confusion out there. And today, I'm gonna to tell you which arm you should be focusing on when you swing the golf club. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV. And one of the questions I get a lot is, hey Todd, when I'm swinging the golf club, should I feel like I'm using my dominant hand or my lead hand? And the thing you gotta understand is where you focus that attention where you focus on can really dictate what happens. So for example, if you slice the golf ball, if you slice the golf ball, you come out and across the line and slice it, I'm gonna give you a tip on what might be causing that. So first of all, here's what you gotta understand, is, is that you're actually using, of course, both arms when you swing the golf club, right? We know that. You're not making one arm swings, although I'm gonna give you a little drill here in a second that might help you with that, but we're using both of them. So one of the first things you gotta understand is, is that you want them to work together. I don't think that we should be really focusing specifically just on your trail arm or your lead arm. They really wanna work with them together. But I will say this, if you tend to slice the golf ball, a lot of you tend to use your trail arm, your dominant arm, a lot. So it looks something like this. You're set in here and you really want to get that club going. So what happens is from the top, you initiate the trail arm, which is your dominant arm, and you throw the club out and across. Let me go ahead and just hit a shot here. So I got my seven iron. Okay, and I really tried to throw my right arm and accelerate my right arm. Now when you do that, it adds speed but it tends to get the club to go out and across. I've also noticed that for a lot of my golfers, it'll open up the club face. Now, on the flip side, what I'd like to see you do is actually feel a little bit more of the lead arm. So from the top, I want you to feel like your lead arm pulls the club, okay? When the lead arm pulls the club, the club will tend to drop more to the inside and will also help you get a little bit more forward shaft lean at impact. When we throw with the right arm or we dominate with the right arm, the trail arm, the club will go out and across. So let me go ahead and hit another shot here. Now this time, I'm gonna try to actually pull a little bit more with my lead arm. Then we're gonna talk about a couple of drills that you can do to help with that. So here we go, got my seven iron. This time I'm gonna feel from the top, I'm, my lead arm is pulling the club through. Here we go. Okay, that was better. Definitely straighter, still a little heavy, you can tell by the sound of it, but definitely better. Now, hey, if you haven't done already, subscribe to the channel, all right? And tell me where you're from. One of my favorite things to do is get up in the morning and kind of see the comments and the questions that people have. I do my best to answer all those, but I love hearing where you're from and some of the stories and what it is that you want us to talk about. So be sure to do that, and also be sure to ring that bell so you get notifications when we have new content coming. Now, let me give you a couple drills. If you slice the golf ball, or if you feel like your trail arm, your dominant arm is working too fast, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go ahead and grip the club. I've got a seven iron right here, okay? and I want you to grip it just your lead arm and you're gonna take your trail arm, okay? And you're just gonna place it like that. See how I'm doing that? I'm doing that for support, okay? And I'm just gonna make some swings, okay? And I'm feeling my trail arm, which is my right arm, just support. I don't want you to do it without supporting because you could hurt your arm and, and your shoulder and things like that. But you got that and see? Now notice when I do that, see where that club drops, guys and gals, see that? It's gonna drop to the inside and boom. I'm gonna do a couple of those. You know me, if you followed any of our stuff, I love my three setters, so let's do a three setter. Here we go. There's one. Notice where the club's dropping, there's two. There's three, all right, now here we go. Let's hit a shot. That was better already. Okay, now, so the next thing I wanna talk about here to kind of close some of this up is how about what hand should you use to help you improve contact? You can see I hit a couple of those behind it. So here's what we're gonna do. This is one of my favorite drills. I've given this to even some of my tour professionals, my really good amateur golfers. So I got a, a gap wedge. I got my 54 degree. Now, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna make some swings with just your trail hand. You're gonna go ahead and grip down on it and just swing it back and through. Now this is gonna be really difficult at first, okay? but this is gonna help you with contact. So if you're struggling with contact, this is a great drill. Okay, so here we go, I made a couple practice swings. I'm gonna go ahead and swing it. All right, that was pretty good off the start. So when we swing the golf club, we're gonna use both hands, both arms. 
If you're coming over the top, I want you to feel more lead arm. If you're struggling with contact, I want you to feel a little bit more trail arm and trying to cool and trying to fix where that club hits the ground. So these tips right here are gonna help you improve your contact and understand which arm actually swings a golf club.